Yeah, I had a very limited science background when I first started um, working in the lab and I had no real lab experience. And that was fine because you learn there, like you read a lot and you read a lot of papers and then you do the actual lab work and you talk to people and you really start learning what it is you're doing. And you're definitely given like a long period to learn because they know that you're an undergraduate and that you don't know very much. And so there's not a lot of pressure. You just get to enter into the lab and learn and research. We kind of have lots of projects going on all the time, but our main focus in our lab is um, trying to uh, make new antibiotics or make old antibiotics better, or we're also trying to uh, improve vaccines. No, I'll definitely keep researching and presenting. I still have another year of research to do, and so hopefully I'll get good data and be able to present that as well. Time management becomes really important when you're working in a lab because you're taking classes you're working every day, you're studying for those classes as well, and then you want to have a social life. So you definitely need to learn to prioritize and learn to have good time management. I've definitely had fears about becoming a scientist. It can be really intimidating. It's super competitive. Um, everyone you're competing against is really smart. Um, so I definitely have fears, but you have to try and you have to work hard. And Science is a really intimidating field and you have to have a huge body of knowledge and I'm still just an undergrad and so I still have a lot to learn. So it takes a long time before you can really be effective just because you have to have tons of knowledge and that knowledge is constantly growing so you have to constantly be catching up to it. So that can be a little intimidating. I have definitely felt frustrated at points working in the lab like things don't work out or your project gets canceled or you can't get funding or for whatever reason like things just aren't going well. But I'm definitely motivated just by thinking uh, especially since I work in a very clinically oriented lab, just thinking about the patients and the possible uh, lives that the research could affect just because it is so like practical clinically, the research that we're doing. So I'm definitely motivated just by the patients and by hopefully um, our work having an, a positive impact on people's lives. Mm -hmm.